I did feel like this was music that deserved a big audience. I actually think as an artist and as a human being, he's, a, he, he's someone who deserves a big audience. I've known Nate's dad for a long time. Dan, uh, we became friends. He, he, uh, he directed me in, um, in a VH1 uh, uh, strange frequency um, kind of mini movie that we made together. I would meet Nate occasionally. Dan would bring him to Duran gigs. And, you know, as he became a um, singer-songwriter, you know, I would always check out his stuff, you know, just as a sort of interested, you know, father figure. Once the pandemic hit, I, uh, I was doing a bunch of writing and I had a bunch of songs stocked up. And I figured, you know what, I want to go to go to John's house and get some feedback from him. I got the chance to play him some of the songs. I was pretty nervous. I was pretty nervous, to, to be honest, to play him the songs. I play him the first one. I think it was Lose Somebody was the first song. John sort of, he doesn't really give anything away while he's listening. And so he's kind of sitting there like like this, kind of like pretty stoic and, and you know, you can't really tell if he's liking it or not. The song, you know, plays all the way through and he's still kind of sitting there and he goes, play it again. The song plays all the way through and he goes, this is great. You know, and then right there, all the pressure melted away. I was like, all right, great, awesome. Um, when he came to me um, last summer and played me where we, he was at, I was really, I was really knocked out. And I thought that, you know, after a few years of trying different things, he'd really found his own voice. And, uh, and I, ju I just wanted to be involved. I mean, Nate's an interesting, you know, he's a very modern composer, you know, he, he, uh, he knows how to present himself in, in terms of sound. You know, he's grown up around classic rock and, um, you know, but he has embraced the modern world of, uh, of recording and I feel that his music um, embodies that. You know, I just felt, you know, I, that I could bring something to the, um, you know, to the songs and help realise them fully, but also help him um, you know, get the music to as many people as possible.